Okay, guys, we're not going to do that now, darling. We're going to do that afterwards because right now we're going to do some shooting. Okay. So everybody line up. Everybody line up on the other side. And let's say welcome back to everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us. It's quite a hot day this morning, so make sure you stay hydrated. Keep drinking. If things get a little bit tough, just remember you can sit out, you can pause, you can come back and do all those fun things with us in a bit. So, how are we going to start today? Everybody look at me. Look at yourself on the TV. Is it funny? Okay, let's just shake the arms out. Eliana, come where you can see me, not the TV, darling. Come here. And we're going to shake it to the left. And we're going to shake it to the right. Straight arms are real. The YouTube channel. But we'll have to discuss that later. Let's just can't get on. Okay, so here we go. And we're going to jump forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Careful. Forwards and backwards. Just forwards and backwards. Now we're going to go up. Get out. No. Watch what I'm doing. Watch what I'm doing. Two. 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 Stop. Oh, sorry, I can't see, so we're doing. <laughs> Keep going, Eliana. <laughs> yeah, exercise. Oh. I'm I'm <coughs> Keep going. Forwards. <laughs> okay, now on the spot, because if we're skipping it, we'll get the skipping ropes out. Eliana, come this way, darling, stop watching the TV. Wait, we can't skip it. No, here, imaginary skipping rope. Imaginary skipping rope. Right. Okay, take our skipping ropes. Make sure they're the right length. So coming down, just above our ankle. Okay, are we ready to start to skip? I'm not ready to skip. Okay, so this time we're going to do two feet together. You come here. We're two feet together. And we're just going to do, here we go. Get there. Nice, nice little hops. Get those arms going. Make sure you've got them. Make sure you've got them. Keep going, keep going. Now this time we put one foot forward, one foot forward. Keep going, skipping over that rope, jump over that rope. Then the other foot, keep going. Keep going, I can't see anyone skipping here. I can see people hopping, but I can't see anybody skipping. Get those ropes right underneath. Those. There the other one, there the other one. Now, we're going to be able to side to side as we go over the rope. Right. Make sure you get the rope underneath. Get the rope underneath. Keep those great ropes going. And then we're on the spot. And forward. And back two. Forwards two. 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 Back two. Where you got arms? Are you going to see What's this? What's that? Get your skipping rope going. Oh no. Coming. Oh. Who's with me at home? Are you still not with me? Yes. No. And it's this side. <laughs> You're not skipping. You're not skipping. Why? Because you have to turn your arms because you've got a rope in your hand and you're trying to jump over that rope. And relax. And if you need a drink, grab a grip drink. Shake that out. I don't like it. Shake that out. No, you didn't do anything. <laughs> Shake that out. My arms are hurting so far. Okay, let's do the kit. My I'm legs are nice you. and warm. I'm now gonna get you, okay? Okay, darling. Then we're gonna do our hips. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. And we go around. Okay, 
open the door for Eliana. What's you two doing? If you can't be sensible, you might have to ask who's going inside. This time, take the leg up so it's nice. I think it's perpendicular, but if it's here, all the way out. And the same on the other side. Nice and square. I'm gonna do it. Come down into a straddle stance and just lean to one side. And the same on the other side, both feet facing forwards. Oh, I love this. And then we're gonna turn that foot. Both feet now facing that way. And we're gonna push. One knee to the floor, that's it, both facing that way and push this back knee to the floor. Not too much, your foot has to be on the facing that way. Get it in line, get them both in line, facing that way and just stretch the front out, just in front of the body here and at the back. We're going to go move that, push this knee towards the floor and stretch, stretch those quads really nice front of the leg stretch, so a little bit, that's nice and square here and I'm going to push that knee down towards the floor and stretch off all of the quads there. Okay, because that was a, get all the blood flowing there nicely. Now one foot in front, both hands on knees, where can you see me, sorry, here. What are you doing? Am I doing that? So rather than smiling at yourselves and waving to all the crowd, <laughs> focus on what I'm doing because you need it, it's your body, you need to stretch. What are you doing? Yeah. My hand is on my knee, darling. That's my bent leg. I'm bending one leg and I've got my other foot in front of me. Okay, so is this the one that you want to stretch? So that goes on that. Put your hands on your knees. Put this leg out in front. <laughs> Raphael. It's serious, yes, yeah, so you can hurt yourself. Put that all on the, neck, on the bent knee, step one in front, and then point up to the skull. And you can feel the stretch. I don't know what you're doing up there, but look. Bent knee. It's not difficult, guys, you all got this at home. Got a bent knee, hands on the bent knee, step forward and point to the sky with the forward foot. Okay, you should feel that stretch. So now, the legs are nice and warm. Now let's do some of the upper body. So we're going to roll the shoulders, roll these arms forward. Like we said, one at a time now. Keep one up, nice and high. The other one coming forward, brushing the ear. And then keep that one up and brush the ear again. And now backwards, can you copy what I'm doing? One up, and the other one turn. And then the same the other way. All the way around. All the way around. Okay, now both feet phasing forward. And we're going to turn. One, two, three. Four, four, five, six, seven, following this time, eight, nine, all the way, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and stop now, we sixteen with loads and loads, I said stop there, that was loads. Okay, now, everybody, just read. Do this and maybe you can see a little bit more of the room and not so much of the ceiling. Is everyone having fun at home? Right, okay. Here we go. You're not having fun? Do you want to go back inside? Okay. I don't think so. You want to go? You're allowed to go if you want to go. If you're not having fun, you can go. It's all about fun, guys. If you're finding it a bit tough, you can always sit out. Raphael's going to take a seat for a minute, get his breath back because it was a lot of hard work. Now we're going to be down on our sides. So this time we've been doing a lot of plank work. We haven't done side plank yet. Uh, so let's do this so you can see. So we feet are together and we're putting our elbow on the floor and we're elevating our hips here. So now we've got a nice side plank going on. And then 
Is this hurting? No, it's just hard to do. Yeah, it is hard to do, yeah. We've not done this one before. And then we can raise one leg and we can raise it back again. So just one hand on the floor with the other one on the hip. And we can raise it up and down. Okay, then we can swap sides. So we've got this hip. We're lying down nice and flat, nice and stylish. And then we're going to raise those hips to side plank, working all the obliques, all the side yeah. stabilizers. And then if this is too easy yeah. for you, you can put your hand on your hip and oh, raise that. Thicker. When we get a little bit better, we'll raise that in front and then back. But this is quite hard, so if you're struggling, yeah. just sit that one out if it's too much for you at home. <laughs> oh, okay, now get... onto the front, oh. normal plank which we've been doing, so the body's nice and square, nice and nice and flat, like a big board, and looking down me. Like... <coughs> and relax that one off. Now we're gonna roll onto our backs, oh. and we're gonna make a very long saucepan. So we're gonna put our hands up like a bowl here. So we can put our hands up, put our head oh. up, <laughs> so this is going to be straight, point your toes, hold that there, this is going to be behind you and you're coming up to there, hold it straight, <laughs> straight, relax, both, point both toes, see this dish, see this dish, this is the dish you're looking for, straight arms, you put it, your arms aren't working, you know, it's just your stomach muscles in here, hold it, there we go, it's a lot harder than it looks guys, but this is one that we're going to have to get down, so I'm going to be straight armed, up like a dish, and I should be able to roll my dish up to sitting if I want, I think it's easy for me. and I can sit back up uh, as a nice strong dish, my core's nice and strong, uh, Raphael do you want to come be a dish, uh, you want to come try and be a dish, uh, 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 no. that's it, but uh, where are your arms? If it's really hard, guys, what you can do is hold on to your shorts. Hold on to your shorts. Hold on to your hips. If it's really hard, oh, then. Okay, I can't do this. Okay, so if it's too hard, we've got that leg up. We can put our hands underneath our thighs here. So that will help support us, support the side muscles. And still get that dish out. Straight leg. Straight leg. Straight leg. Can't do it. Can't straighten your legs. Can't do it. Go on. Straighten your legs. Straight legs. Point toes. Straight legs. Just put, put your legs down. Point your toes. That's the way it should be. Straight legged. Pointed toes. Coming up. If you're struggling with the top part. Okay, I think we've had enough with that one for today. Uh, that was good. Should we do some of those? I can't get up. Okay, no, we're not getting up yet. We're not getting up yet. But <laughs> I think you should come in appropriate sportswear, darling, because this is not working out for you well today. Okay, so this time, we're going to roll onto our shoulders. <laughs> Take great care of this one at home. Great care this one at home. Okay, and wait for me and let me tell you what you're doing. So, we're pushing the hips up to the sky. We're rolling onto our shoulders here. Both our legs are pointed and then we want to bring them back. So, we're holding the weight more underneath our hips. Okay. So, parents might be able to help on this one. Get right underneath, put your arms there, point the toes to the sky, on the shoulders, so all the way through the shoulders. And let go down. Hold, put your hands like that, you're holding on to your hips. Like that. That's it, now put that underneath your hip. Like that, there we go. So your elbows are on the floor. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we need to do a little bit more strength work for you guys. Put your hands underneath support. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up there. Put your hands on. There we go. So hand position on that's really important. Out of the way, Eliana. 
Out of our hand position, that's really important. Both out the way, out the way, out the way, out the way, out the way. There we go. Hand position, that's really important somewhere. Elbows were nice and flat on the floor. And I'm going to hug my hip. Out the way, please, Eliana. No one can see if you're staying there. I'm going to grab my hip here. So I'm actually grabbing my hip, grabbing my hip. I'm on my shoulders. And then I'm pointing to the sky. Okay, so I should be able to do that nicely from here and then bring it back nice and controlled to here. Okay, very good. Okay, now everybody in a circle follow me. I don't know what you managed to get on your head while you're over there. In a circle, everyone in a circle, holding hands. Everybody walking around in a circle, if you're on your own. Then just start to walk around. If you're injured for this bit, you're going to have to sit out. Okay, like I am now. Sugiyashi steps, like we discussed. So we're bringing our back one and we're pushing it. Bring back, push. Are you watching? Are you doing Sugiyashi steps? Everyone at home are doing these steps that we spoke about the other day. You keep going. When we're going to push, I'm going to go. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Sugiyashi so steps. Bears are coming. Everybody get into a bear position. Into the bear position. <laughs> that's not there. That's, the, that's almost a bear position. Any, any other bears? Me. I'm in bear position. Okay. So everyone, line up, everyone line up along here. Everyone line up along here. All my bears come this way. Little bear at the front. <laughs> Little bear at the front. Little bear at the front. Medium sized bear. Medium sized bear. Facing that way like we do every day. Facing the right way. Move up. And we're going to walk our bears forward. Bear walk. Now if you want to get your backs nice and straight, you have to put your knees close to the floor. But don't let them touch the floor. It's so nice and close to the floor, but don't let it touch. I'm not touching the floor. And then back. Oh, that was great, bears. Now let's see some ducks. Okay. Oh, that, sorry, ducks walk. Dogs jump. Ducks walk. Dogs jump. They have webbed feet, so we're going to hop here, and then we're going to come up all the way onto our tippy toes from here, and reach the sky, and back down to the frog, and up. Not moving for everyone else. Face the front. Face the front. Be careful. Let's sit again, Ariel. So we're coming here, both hands. Watch this at home. Make sure we get these exercises properly. I know it's a lot of fun, but it's got to be done properly. Both our legs are here together, shoulder width apart. We're coming down, nice straight back. You want to listen to this is for your judo. I know how to do it. So we've got our hands, our heads are straight. Our hands touch the floor, and we hop to here. We're landing nice and square. Both. Now when I come down, I'm going reaching for the sky. And I'm on my tippy toes, and that's one frog leap. So frog here. We're down, we're leaping, we're landing nice and securely, and then we're coming and we're going up onto our tippy toes. Let's see some frog leaps. If you keep doing it one more time, you're going to have to leave. I'm not having you show your gum to the TV anymore. It's not snake. Do you understand? Very nice snake. There are hundreds of people that are going to be not snake. If you need it again, you can come away over here and you ask us again. Okay. Okay. We started the foot movement yesterday. Do you remember what it was? So we're in our fighting stance. We're coming to here and we're moving to there. Okay, so we had an entry which was Sugiyashi steps, which is why we just revised them. We did Sugiyashi forward and then we did step and through. 
Okay, so everyone in the line with me. Everyone else is joining in the line with me. Uh, one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sugiyashi steps backwards and forwards. Fighting stance. Sugiyashi step. Stepping through and turning. Now we're going to add to this foot movement because we're building each day something new. Here we are, Sugiyashi step. Got that nice and deep, almost level with the front of my feet. Now as I'm coming through to here, I actually pointing my toes and I'm sweeping all the way around. Now, uh, technically, if you're an experienced judoka, if you've done this a lot, uh, you can, if the ground is soft where you are, if you're on a judo mat, preferably, uh, in fact, I would say that provided for the dojo or where you've really got a really soft landing, uh, this, stand back, this sugiyashi step comes in. So we're here, sugiyashi step, moving that forward, sugiyashi step. Then here, and that as we do this to straighten up, you can come all the way around into a front break foot. To really get that drive forward, um, it's perfectly good to come into a side break, into a front break foot. Okay, so but for now, for all those at home doing the exercise, quickly as we can, get to here, through, and turn. Okay, and another one. So, sorry, so we're going to come here, so you actually step to here. Try and get these movements really, really swift. Now, are we over me? Standing opposite me. And we're going that way. One, two, sweep. One, two, sweep. One, two. Now, today our advancement on this is going to drive the bus. Okay, how do we drive a bus? We've got a really big steering wheel. That's how we drive a bus. So this time, this is again, the basics we've already covered. So as I'm coming along, one, two, here, here. Driving that bus, linking this wrist with this ankle as it sweeps across, keeping my elbow quite tight into my body, here, here, making the scoop like we discussed the other day, like an ice cream scoop, trying to find that ankle with a bit of ice cream. And this one's coming up here. So, oosh. Okay, so and again, that way we're gonna drive the bus, the hands out to drive the bus. One, two, and drive the bus. As it, drive the bus, and back. One, two, drive, drive the, the bus. bus. Keep that elbow tucked in, drive the bus. Drive the bus by myself so they can see at home. One, two, drive the bus. Okay, the wheels on the bus do go round and round. Still going, still strong. Good, now. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Roll day. Okay, so now we're going along and when we get to this and we miss our sweep, we're just going to turn all the way around and face that way. Okay. Very good. Very good. What have you noticed about doing this? We've only done one side. So, now turn away, face away from your partner. If you're on your own, just face the opposite direction and we'll do it again. All good, last one. Oh, very good. 
Okay, let's start to warm down now. Let's start to warm down now, yeah, it's almost time. So, spinning hands again, spinning wrists. And lots of stomach work today. Let's finish with a little bit of chest work. I'm gonna set a challenge now for all those guys at home. Here is the, here is the push-up challenge. Anyone that wants to join in. Now there's two ways to do this push-up for the guys at home. The first way is from your knees. This is for the guys that are building up their strength and their muscles. Now again, with this, it is a challenge. What you want to do is each day, try and get a little bit further. Uh, but don't worry about it if you can't finish the challenge today. I don't know if I'm going to finish the challenge today. But this is what we're going to do. Our hands are going to be, when we're doing a press-up, is level with our chest here and flat on the floor for this challenge. So if I am keep my body nice like a plank, nice like a plank, here with my plank on my knees, and I'm going to do one nice push up, looking forward so I can feel my chest just about touch the floor, just kiss the floor there with my chest, just like that, that's one. Now for the guys that are a little bit stronger, you can do a normal press up, so all the way, nice plank coming here, so one, looking forward, and then we're going to stand up. Okay, that's not much of a challenge, is it? Then we're going to go back down, and we're going to do two, so... Nice, there we're gonna go, we're gonna do two here. One, two, and then we're gonna stand up. Don't worry, the challenge isn't over. We're gonna go back down, nice and controlled. Oh, Ariel, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do three, so looking forward. One, two, three, how many am I on? No, now you're gonna do three, now you're gonna do four. All the way up to five, guys. All the way up to five. So this is number four. One, two, three, four. Standing back up. This is five. My hands are about here, yeah? There are other ones that we'll do later on when we do diamond, but right now, nice and comfortably here. Number five. Anyone keeping up with me at home? Now we've got number five. Looking forward. One, two, three, four. Five. Guys, we're halfway there. Keep this up. Now we're going to count back down. We're going to start with five. No, Ariel, we'll do yours afterwards. We're going to do another five here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Kissing the floor every time with our chest. Now it's getting tough. Got another four. So here we go for four. One. Two, three, four. Oh, it's getting really tough for me now. I'm starting to feel that. That's three. Going for three now. One, two, three. Two, three. Really good. Feeling it, feeling it. Going back down for two. One, all the way down, kissing the floor. All the way down. Okay. Last one, last one, we've got this, come on. Nice and controlled, all the way down, touch, kiss, one. and all the way up. That's good for the challenge. And each week, next Friday for the push-up challenge, we're gonna try and do seven. And the week after, if we're still here, we're gonna try and do 10. And we're gonna keep pushing this challenge forward as much as we can. So please, if you do do it, let me get maybe a selfie, video yourself, send it to me. Just let me know how you're going. Great work today. Thank you very much for coming. We're not here on Saturday. I don't think I'm gonna be here on Sunday. I might do some adult sessions instead on Sunday if my weights arrive. I'm still, we're still waiting for weights to arrive from different distributors. Uh, otherwise, have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay hydrated, listen to your parents. Deep breaths like we discussed all the way through. If you want to do a little bit of meditation, especially if you don't get your way, let's not shout, let's not scream, let's keep peace between each other, especially our parents, they're trying their best. So kids, really be kind to them. It's good to be kind. Have a great weekend and we'll see you Monday morning, 10 a.m.